Hey guys, SchoolPost2009 here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the NVIDIA GTX 460 by EVGA. The model here is the GTX 460 V2. It has 1GB of DDR5 memory and 336 CUDA cores. It also supports OpenGL 4.1, 3D Vision, 3D Vision Surround, CUDA, DX11, Physics, and SLI. It has two dual link DVI connections and a mini HDMI connection. In the box, you get a VGA to DVI adapter, as well as a mini HDMI to HDMI cable. After unboxing, I popped it in and got everything running smoothly. Windows gave it a score of 7.7, .7, which is actually a pretty good score, but numbers aren't everything, so let's see some ways it performs. As a video editor, being able to view content in real time while editing is important, which was the primary reason to upgrade. Being able to use NVIDIA's CUDA technology for GPU acceleration makes using Adobe software much faster. This is primarily seen on Adobe Premiere Pro which uses the Mercury Playback Engine to speed up render times and overall performance. You can see here how enabling the GPU acceleration not only makes video playback smooth but takes pressure off the CPU and drives it onto the GPU. Next let's take a look at some gameplay. Here I'm going to be testing it on Battlefield 3 running on 1080p ultra settings. As you can see it plays back very smoothly with 60 frames average in this scenario. but. When I took the combat to the ground, you can see it dropped to about 35 frames average. So out of the box, gameplay is great, but with some tweaking and overclocking, you can probably get way higher frame rates. So overall, this card performs great. It's definitely up to par with my previous HD 6790, if not better. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And if you want to learn more about how to take advantage of your GTX card with Adobe applications, just hit subscribe to stay tuned for the future video. That's all for this video, guys. See you next time.